Hello, I am going to demonstrate number one, I'm going to enter a debit adjustment for $100. Number two, I will enter a vendor refund check for $75. Number three, I will apply the $75 refund check to the $100 debit adjustment. Number four, I will enter and apply a credit adjustment of $25 to close out the debit adjustment. Let's get started. In the Accounts Payable module, go to the Bill and Adjustment screen and select the type called Debit Adjustment. Then enter your vendor. If there is a reference number, enter it and enter an optional description. Next, go to Document Details add a row, add an optional transaction description, and enter the cost of $100. This vendor is set to default an account and subaccount, which I will keep. Next, take the debit adjustment off hold and release it. Okay, now you have an open debit adjustment for $100 and you are ready to enter the refund check and you can do that with a shortcut called actions vendor refund okay so now we are in the checks and payments screen and the type is called vendor refund the vendor name came over from the debit adjustment and the payment amount I will adjust to $75. I will also need to adjust the amount paid to $75. And what you'll notice here is that the payment reference is required. This is the check number. And under cash account, this is the cash account to which the check will be applied. So now I'm ready to take it off hold and release the document. So this document is now marked as closed and the debit adjustment which I can look at by going to application history has a balance of $25. So now I'm going to enter and apply a credit adjustment of $25. And to do that I'm going to go back to payables into Bill and Adjustments, add a new record. This time I will select Credit Adjustment and select my vendor. I will once again enter a vendor reference number if that applies and go to Document Details and enter the $25 going to take the record off hold and I'm going to release it. So as you can see here I haven't applied it yet so I'm going to take a step back and I'm going back to the original debit adjustment here and I'm going to go to actions apply adjustment that will advance me to this screen and I will select the credit adjustment and the reference number so now that I've applied twenty five dollars you'll see that the balance of the debit adjustment will become zero okay now this is marked as closed and you'll see that the debit adjustment for $100 is made up of two components that close it and that is the vendor refund check for $75 and a $25 credit adjustment. Thank you.